Hi traders, uh, I'm Derek Fong here and uh, just now uh, after posting some uh, placing order uh, videos, uh, I've got some uh, questions uh, from some traders. Uh, they have actually placed uh, buy orders uh, without actually uh, planning to, to, I mean without actually uh, setting the sell orders uh, at the same time. So now the question is that to be specific is that how to add on sell orders separately after placing a buy order some time ago. Now do not worry, uh, this is uh, something that is uh, uh, quite normal for uh, beginners. Uh, you have bought some stocks and uh, you forgot to set uh, your sell limit or your sell stop orders. All right, so uh, we'll walk through uh, how to do it. And uh, let's uh, take a look of it on a chart, for example. All right, uh, let's go to uh, Macy, and the ticker symbol is M. Uh, in this case, uh, let's say for instance, uh, this stock is uh, doing a major reversal into an uptrend after rounding bottom. And uh, let's say for instance, uh, you have anticipated uh, or you have bought uh, the shares, uh, 1,000 shares right here after a bullish uh, breakout. And then uh, price is around uh, at the level of uh, 40. Uh, market has not opened right now. It's uh, 721 in uh, Malaysia. So it's about uh, two hours uh, before the US market starts uh, to open. So now this is a very nice uh, wave pattern in this price and uh, you might have to uh, set some projections here on the price, anticipate uh, where the price will go. So, all right, you have uh, bought some stocks here, all right, at this level. So now, Okay, let's say if we want to do a projection is that uh, we go to a simple tool right here. Go to drawing tools, then to go to the percentage symbol. It's named Fibonacci retracement and uh, you can also uh, actually um, get a Fibonacci expansion uh, from this tool. You can do a projection. So what you can do is that click this symbol and uh, search for the previous uh, swing low to swing high. So you can connect this point right here down to this point, right? So once you uh, connect these two points, you can see the price uh, action has actually retraced to around um, around this level, Fibonacci retracement levels, where they call it a divine proportion. It also happens uh, quite frequently in the financial markets. And uh, it also helps us to project uh, where the price uh, we will be uh, anticipating to go somewhere around this area, which is 49.5. So now with this uh, tool right now, we can uh, estimate uh, where we would exit or close this order. So right now, what we can do is that we go to the monitoring tab, monitor tab, left click. Okay, let's say you have bought some of these stocks uh, right here. Now Macy, uh, you're making about uh, 15,000 USD uh, over a period of a few weeks, I don't know, for a few months. Okay, then to do a right click on this click uh, ticker symbol and it pops out the drop down list. Then go to create closing order. Then go to select OCO bracket. Then to, uh, it pops out the two different sell orders. Both of these, uh, it's about 1000 shares, which you have bought earlier. 1000 shares. If you want to close it completely, uh, you can set it to 1,000 shares. You know, there are some kind of trades also you can close it partially. All right. But in this case, uh, let's just do uh, 1,000 shares. Now, for the limit uh, we saw just now, uh, it can go up to 49 around that level. So you can set it to 49. All right. Then set to GTC, which means good till cancel. If the price goes up to that level, you know, it takes a few weeks probably, then the only it closes, all right? And the uh, same goes for the stop loss. All right, the stop loss, uh, you can set around uh, $34. Always set this to uh, mark. All right, when you're setting to mark, it uh, means uh, it closes immediately when the price reaches to that level. So now, just estimate around the area that you projected just now. And uh, what you can do is that you confirm and send, click. Then to check the order ticket, 
if everything's okay, the cost of the trade and commissions, then click send. All right, once you click send, uh, you, what you can do is that go to your chart and uh, check how the orders are placed. All right, so this is your entry and uh, so here's the sell stop and here's your sell limit right uh, below the projection around 49.5 level. So uh, you notice that the price is going up around 40. All right, so uh, now the moving average is around 37. All right, so you can, uh, what you can do is that you can throw it a bit closer to the 50 moving average. All right, because uh, no one knows how high the price can go. All right, so you can trail it behind, or if it goes um, up to this level, then you can also take profit. That's, this is always optional. All right, so uh, my word of advice is that uh, you always uh, plan for an entry and an exit rules uh, at the same time, so that uh, you, know, you do not have to worry after that. So always plan your trades before you enter. There's always a when and where you should exit the trade. All right, at some price level or even timing. Now, right now, uh, there are some earnings uh, coming soon around the 15th of August. All right, so you may want to close out the trade on 15th of, uh, before 15th of August because price can go anywhere when the earnings is announced. So like yesterday, today is 26th of July. Uh, yesterday, uh, Facebook Facebook uh, actually had uh, an announcement which is performing less, uh, uh, performing uh, not as up to expectations. And the price has dropped quite a lot uh, from around the 220 to 174. So let's say, 220, 274. So it's about, it's around 21% drop in a single day. So you, once the earnings announce, so you might want to consider closing your trades a week or some days before the earnings, all right? So if not, <laughs> then uh, you know you'll be facing the consequences like uh, what happens uh, in uh, facebook if you don't close out a trade it drops 21 percent all right so uh thank you for your time i hope you enjoyed this video this is derek here i'm signing out thank you